According to information published by Defense Connect on May 30, 2024, reports suggesting a potential transfer of the decommissioned HMAS Anzac 3 from Australia to the Philippines have been debunked, with no such agreement in place. The potential transfer of the decommissioned warship HMAS Anzac 3 from Australia to the Philippines has garnered significant attention following a meeting between Philippine Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro and Australian Defense Minister Richard Marlis on June 1, 2024. The discussions between the two defense leaders have fueled speculation about this strategic military acquisition although no official confirmation has been made. Deputy Prime Minister and Australian Defence Minister Richard Marlis emphasised the robust and growing defence and security relationship between Australia and the Philippines, which he noted is at an all-time high. The potential transfer of HMAS Anzac 3 would symbolise a further deepening of this bilateral relationship, enhancing defense cooperation and strategic partnership. Transferring the HMAS ANZAC to a neighboring Asian Navy would notably enhance their maritime capabilities. Strategically, the transfer of HMAS ANZAC would improve force projection and maritime security for the receiving Navy. Its long-range capabilities are ideal for extensive patrols crucial for securing territorial waters and exclusive economic zones against threats such as piracy and illegal fishing. Additionally, the ship's advanced communication and combat management systems enhance interoperability with allied navies, facilitating joint operations and exercises. This interoperability is particularly beneficial in regions with complex security dynamics, such as the South China Sea, where collaboration with allies like the United States and Australia is critical. The HMAS ANZAC, FFH-150, is the lead ship of the ANZAC-class frigates, a series of eight ships built for the Royal Australian Navy, RAN, and two for the Royal New Zealand Navy. Based on the German Miko 200 design, the Anzac-class frigates were modified to meet Australian specifications, featuring a modular construction that allows for parallel production of the hull and superstructure. HMAS Anzac was laid down at Williamstown, Victoria, on November 5, 1993, and was commissioned into service on May 18, 1996. The ship has a full load displacement of 3,810 tons, an overall length of 118 meters, a beam of 14.8 meters, and a draft of 4.35 meters. The ANZAC uses a combined diesel or gas CODOG, propulsion system, which includes one General Electric LM2500 gas turbine generating 30,000 horsepower and two MTU 12 volts 1163 terabytes 83 diesel engines producing 8,840 horsepower. This configuration enables the ship to reach speeds of up to 27 knots with a maximum range of over 6,000 nautical miles at 18 knots. HMAS ANZAC is equipped with a variety of weapons systems for different combat scenarios. Its primary armament includes a 127mm MK45 Mod 2 gun and an 8-cell MK41 Vertical Launch System VLS, for RIM-7 Sea Sparrow and RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow missiles. For anti-ship warfare, it carries two quad canister launchers for Harpoon Block II missiles. The ship also features two 12.7mm machine guns, two MK-32 triple torpedo tubes for Mu-90 torpedoes, and the Raphael Mini Typhoon close-in weapon system for defense against aerial threats. The frigate is equipped with advanced radar and sensor systems, including the Raytheon SPS-49-V-8ANZ air search radar, 
Atlas Electronic 9600 ARPA Navigation Radar, and the Celsius Tech 9 LV453 Fire Control Radar. It also features a hull-mounted sonar for underwater detection. If the Philippines succeeds in acquiring HMAS ANZAC, it would provide a significant upgrade in terms of technology and firepower. With its advanced sensor systems and weapon platforms, HMAS ANZAC could provide the Philippine Navy with a critical edge in maritime surveillance and defense operations. Moreover, the ANZAC-class frigates are known for their versatility and adaptability to various mission profiles. Whether conducting maritime patrols, anti-piracy operations, or participating in multinational exercises, these vessels have proven their effectiveness in a wide range of scenarios. For the Philippines, which faces diverse security challenges in its maritime domain, the flexibility offered by HMAS ANZAC could significantly enhance its operational capabilities.